And now again, we go here that says the data and then go to more file and we can import a single file, but now we don't want to import a single file. We want to import a lot of files all together and then Spark query to combine all these files in one table because they are all related to our sales, okay? And we want to combine it. I'm gonna go here and say, I'm gonna combine data from a folder and I'm gonna connect to the folder. Now it's asking me for the path of the folder. So if I click okay, I'm ready to actually read the contents of the folder. And, next, and Power Query, Power BI, it's detecting that inside the folder, there are several files. So what I'm going to say to this, it's open that drop down here on the first selection that says Combine, and click Combine and Transform. I don't want to load the data before I'm ready. No? Maybe I want to do transformations, add stuff, remove stuff. So I always want to transform the data before I combine them. Now, because this file is not an Excel file, it's a CSV file, I have one extra step I need to pass before I actually get into the editing of the data. And this is that step here, where it actually detects the nature of the data and wants me to confirm what's uh, the file origin, what's the delimiter. What it's doing, it's checking the first 200 rows. Remember, it's 100,000 rows per file. So it's picking one file randomly, uh, or you can define what is the file is going to use as a sample. So it's selecting one file. The default one is the first file in the folder using that file as a sample, provided that all the files have the same structure, it's when I take the files and combine them like that. And the beauty, that was my second wow. Remember I told you about the wow when I re realized what this thing can do? My second wow, and that was a real big wow, my God, okay? That was here. Because not only it's reading what is inside the folder, once you create a query, whatever extra files you put in the folder, it's reading these files as well. So if today, let's say I take your files, and your files are monthly files for the last 10 months, nine months, because October is not over yet, okay? And then I, I, I have like January to September sales data for your company. I build the report, we do the dashboards, we are happy, we go home, we present it next day at our, the board meeting at our boss, everyone is happy, nice visuals, interactive. And then end of October, next week, I have a new file. Okay, I have October 2021. What should I do? Nothing. I just take the file, save it inside the folder that I have all the other files. I come to the Power BI, click refresh, and boom, I'm there. I don't need to do anything else. I just refresh the file, the report, the Power BI report file, which is actually a .pbix file. That's the extension in Power BI desktop files, okay? I refresh the file and everything's updated. It will read the new file in the, in the folder with my data and add the new information to the existing information and update all the visuals, all the calculations on the spot. You gather data inside the folder. You create a report where you read from the folder automatically and then you're done. The only thing you have to do, keep the name convention Save the file inside this folder, and you're done. It does recognize the data. So if I click OK now, what it's going to do, it's going to read, based on that sample file, all the files in the folder, the existing ones, and any new ones. Okay. So if, And I'll show you what I mean when I say any new ones. So now we have two queries. And these two queries, it's the one it's a sample file query, which is this one, transform sample file. But the query you should actually care for is the query here, down here, that is taking its name from the name of the folder. But I can rename it, and I can say total sales. Okay. So a lot of steps have happened automatically for us because it's using the power of this tool. And by having this great tool here available, we have all the data. Look, if I go here and I click load more, all the files in the folder are combined in one table. And I can do reporting now by using all of these files.